Now, this week we've been focusing on emerging leaders in virtual and augmented reality. And today we end our series with a company that's using virtual reality cameras to transform journalism and transport viewers directly to the story. Virtual reality has this ability to take people to see everything around them. So in cases of natural disasters like our film that we made in Nepal, people can be standing in the streets of Kathmandu, have rubble all around them, and experience the scale and the scope of devastation as never before. Just recently when we shot Welcome to Aleppo in Syria, we're able to bring people right to the streets of Aleppo to see for themselves the crisis firsthand. Right now when we're shooting in VR, we use a lot of different cameras. Sometimes we use the jaunt camera, sometimes we use GoPros that are just stuck together on a 3D printed case. But the essential camera just looks like a ball with a lot of little cameras around it. The post-production, you've got to stitch all those different cameras together to get one image. Currently, we're using virtual reality to tell stories across the globe. We're shooting stories on climate change at the glaciers. We're shooting in Uganda, Congo, Haiti. We're about to start shooting in Iraq right now. All of these stories are opportunities to really transport people, have them have a full experience of what they could never have a chance to see. And if we can get people to hear a story about what's happening in Syria right now or see the devastation that happened in Nepal and the ongoing effort that's going to rebuild, that's how we change the world. Thank you.